What's going on guys, it's James from Glaze Life here for the Walking Dead Season 3 Finale Review video. I just want to tell you, you know, what I thought about it, you know, and uh, how I felt about the episode. Just got done watching it, and I don't know, I feel a little empty to be honest with you. Like, it didn't have that epic feel that a season finale should typically have. I, I don't know, it was, it was really slow, it was drawn out, and um, some things just didn't... I don't know, didn't do it for me as you know, for a finale, for a show that's gonna be off the air for six months. And, and I feel a little empty. But uh just start out, there's gonna be some spoilers, so don't watch this if you don't wanna know what happens. I'm about to just tell you all about the episode. So um basically it starts out, you know, we we found out last uh week Milton got, you know, pretty much betrayed the governor, so he died real quick. <laughs> he was he got killed. Well, I guess he was slowly dying throughout the episode, so like you knew he was gonna die, and um, that was kind of a gimme. Like I, I was feeling like he was gonna die. I really thought he was. Um, I think his character had finally come to an end. You know, he was there for the governor to try to like figure out if there was a solution to, you know, all these zombies. Maybe there was a cure. Like he was basically his the governor's right hand man, and he just kind of hit that peak of you know his loyalty, and he was starting to uh, you know. I don't disagree with the, the the governor's decisions, so we knew he was coming to an end. Uh, aside from that, um, there's this big war building, you know, between between uh, the people at Woodbury and the governor and his army versus the you know Rick and the people at the jail. You knew that was coming to a head. You knew it was about to go down, and it went down. And it was um, it was pr pretty cool, you know. Like they all stormed the jail, and Rick and his crew had uh, they were set up real logically and like real strategic like and um, were able to fend them off and scare the crap out of them and drove them out of town they killed a few a few of the army people um, and then it went crazy man uh, they're on the road the the governor and Woodbury folks the army the Woodbury army are on the road and the governor pulls you know pulls all the trucks over he just goes crazy and I this was probably my I, I wouldn't say favorite because it was a pretty dark point but it was just it was crazy, man. He he starts just gunning down his whole army and turned on him. Um, he left three, two other alive, and another another lady um, faked her death. But he killed all of them, and it was just like pure evil. And I just I feel like that should have happened last week. You know what I'm saying? And then built up to this big governor versus Rick, which everyone has been waiting on. It's the the moment when those two go head to head. And it didn't happen. <clears throat> it never happened. All you see is the governor and Martinez and then this other guy. They basically just drive away. They didn't go back to Woodbury. Nobody. We don't know where they went. Uh, Rick and the crew um, decided to attack Woodbury. They took off towards Woodbury. They found the one girl who did escape from the army. They took her into the Woodbury town. And uh, from there, um, they met Tyrese and talked to Tyrese about, you know, getting into Woodbury and he talked to him and explained everything to him about the portrayal of the governor to the army and everything and um, they, that's where they, they led him to Andrea who uh, Andrea was you know as we saw last episode she was tied down to a, to a chair and it looked like the governor was going to to have his way with her kill her and do whatever um, well beginning of this finale episode he tells Milton to kill Andrea and he said, you have to kill Andrew. Well, he, Milton tries to turn and kill the governor. Governor shanks him uh, with a knife. So Milton is going to die. And he said, you are going to kill her once you turn. Locks the door. And um, so basically throughout the episode, Milton's slowly turning into a zombie. Um, Andrew is trying to escape. And basically we don't see what happens. But apparently um, at the end of the episode, Rick and Tyrese and everybody, they, they go into the room. And um, Rick and Michonne basically, and uh, they go into the room where Andrea was, and Andrea was able to kill Milton, you know, zombie Milton. And um, unfortunately, he got a big chunk out of her shoulder, so she was going to turn, and that was the end of Andrea. She ended up taking her own life before she turned, and uh, we can all have a small round of applause. Andrea's finally gone. For those Andrea haters, I'm an Andrea hater. She's just way too tough. She's way too tough for. You know her her skill set's just too high. She's too bad a for me. I can't I can't handle her. What can I say? Anyways, no. Um, that was pretty much the highlights. Uh, Carl shot a kid. Just took out a kid without even like 
letting the guy, I mean, the, guy, the kid was running through the woods. He had a gun. He was part of the Woodbury Army or whatever. And um, he didn't try to attack Carl. Car, Carl told him to just stand down. He was going to hand over his gun. And Carl just capped him in the head. And it just kind of showed you, you know, where Carl's going and, like, how he's just being, you know, he's just dead to this world and everything that's around him. And it's kind of like he's just, he's turning into, like, a little just, I don't know, cold kid. And um, him and him and Rick had it out, and um, it'll be interesting to see where that relationship goes. But like I said, it just didn't feel like an epic episode. It was really slow, really drawn out, um, and there wasn't that big Rick versus the governor. Like everyone thought was going to happen, like that, that they're going to push that to next season, which kind of sucks. And what um, you know, the governor's not dead, and they stayed at the prison. They even brought more people back from Woodbury. The women, the children, some older people, like it's, you know, some other people. They brought them back to the prison with them. Which is also weird because, like, you know how you know Rick is all against bringing anybody into the clan, their little clique, and um, just with open arms, I mean, just brought in shoot half a dozen, dozen, two dozen people off, you know, from Woodbury, and with the with the governor out being dead, I feel like it's you know they're just sitting ducks. So I don't know. Um, I'd give it you know a one dude review rating, but probably like a seven out of ten for a, for a season finale. Um, the good thing is there's another you know there's the fourth season, um, but overall the season was was great and uh, I just keep putting out awesome episodes. But for finale, I just felt a little underwhelming. Um, but nonetheless, watch it. Great, you know if you if you if you want to find a great series and you're not watching The Walking Dead but you wanted to watch this review video on the season three finale, don't know why you would do that. Watch The Walking Dead. Epic, epic, epic. Um, yeah, can't wait for season four. Coming back in October. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching this one doing review. This is already way too long. Um, follow us on Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. It's not hard. Just click the little subscribe button. And um, keep up to date with all our videos. Appreciate it, guys. Peace. <laughs>